Hello everybody. What's up? It's Socks Heather here and I am coming at you with a Tasty Tuesday grocery haul. Today's actually Monday. Today's Monday but the vlog I'm going to do tonight is Mental Monday so I'm going to do this one for tomorrow's Tasty Tuesday. And I'll have two videos in the can two days in a row. How cool is that? <laughs> Any who's little. As you can see, I actually looked in a mirror before I vlogged today. Did something with my hair. Of course, I just got off work, so it doesn't hurt. <sighs> the life of a vlogger. First world problems, honestly. <laughs> I went grocery shopping. As most of you know, I did a, um, a strategized Sunday vlog yesterday. Or Sunday. Today will be Tuesday. <sighs> I don't know how TV stars do it, honestly. I did a strategize Sunday vlog where I talked about my menu planning for the week. And since I have a menu plan for the week and I've got everything structured out, it made grocery shopping much easier and much cheaper. I cannot tell you the value of menu planning to me. Um, I don't always do it, <laughs> but I should and everyone should because it takes away the guesswork of what you're going to cook. Um, if you plan ahead and you know what you're going to be doing, you can take things out of the freezer to thaw or you can make sure you have the right ingredients and go grocery shopping before the day comes so that you're not surprised and say, oh, this is what I want to make tonight, but I don't have anything in the house to make it. So it just really pays to plan ahead. And I know from back in my Weight Watchers days, they always said a, a plan. Nope. <laughs> Try again. Rewind. Fail to plan is a plan to fail. So if you don't plan what you're gonna eat, you don't plan what you're gonna do on special occasions or things like that, or what you're gonna do to make up for the calories that you might eat, you're just, you're basically setting yourself up for failure. And I truly believe that because when I do plan, I'm successful. When I don't plan, I screw up. It's that simple. So my strategize Sunday was really good. And today I just had a few things to get on, on my shopping list. I did stray from the shopping list because there were a few things that I wanted, um, but it really helped me keep it narrowed down. I literally spent 10 minutes in each store. I went to two stores right after I got off work. 10 minutes in each store. They were both on my way home from work. Easy peasy, one, two, three, easy. It was awesome. It was probably the least amount of time I've ever spent in a Trader Joe's in my life because <laughs> I'm a big fan of browsing around because they put things in all of their little nooks and crannies in Trader Joe's. When you first start going to Trader Joe's, it can be a bit overwhelming. Um, but even, I've been going there for years now, and I still find things on their shelves or in their freezer or something like that, where I'm like, wow, that's really interesting. So today was the least amount of time. I've actually spent more time talking about it than I did in the grocery store. So let's go ahead and get to the grocery haul so I can show you guys what I got. Cool? Cool. Okay, so I went to two stores, like I said, and some of these things were not on the list. <laughs> But I wanted to get them anyway. So this is one of the things that was not on my list. It's their vanilla meringues. Uh, they're fat-free, no preservatives, no artificial colors or flavors. And I actually forgot that they make these. I've been wanting to try them for years and I've not ever tried them. Um, but I saw a girl walking around with three boxes of them. <laughs> so I thought, oh, I should grab some of those because this is the perfect time. So serving size is four cookies. The calories are 110, zero fat, zero cholesterol, minimal sodium, 27 carbs, 27 grams of sugar. That is a lot of sugar and one gram of protein because they're egg whites, so that's why they have protein in them. That is a lot of sugar, so I'll have to make sure that I watch what I'm doing when it comes to the sugar. These. I bought these last week, and I like them. You remember I did a grocery haul with the office mate. I ended up liking these, um, and I think it was Big Betsy 74 said, oh, I like those, but they go bad really fast. And boy, she was not kidding. Within two days, every single one of these had mold on them. And I hadn't stored them in the refrigerator. I just kept them on the counter. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to immediately put three of them in the freezer and three of them in the fridge so that I can um, keep them fresher longer. Because they're about $5 almost. So, you know, I want to get my money's worth. I don't want to eat one <laughs> and throw the rest away like I did last week because I didn't realize how fresh they are and I guess it's because well wheat bran will definitely uh, generate some extra cultures um, and then there's white grape juice instead of sugar and blueberries so it's all fresh stuff and it can go bad really quickly so I'm gonna freeze three of them put three in the fridge and then I'll have them for snacks 
I got some candy ginger. One, I absolutely love ginger. Two, I saw a recipe recently that called for candy ginger. And I can't remember what the recipe was now. I'm sure I pinned it on my Pinterest. Uh, but I want to have this so when I run across it again, I'll have my candy ginger on hand. So let's see. Quarter cup, 140 calories, zero fat, 27 sugars. Again, zero protein, 35 carbs. So crystallized ginger, or candy ginger, uncrystallized. This was on my list, Asian style spicy peanut vinaigrette. And the reason I got this is because I want to make some, for my menu planning, I plan to make uh, mini Thai pizzas tonight for dinner. And this is an integral part of the recipe. And what I'm going to do, I've never seen it done, but I saw someone had purchased this in a Trader Joe's haul that I watched previously. And it gave me the idea to do a mini pizza with it. And what I'm going to do is because it's, it's actually, I don't know if you can see it's, it's very liquidy and I don't want anything that runny on my pizza. So what I'm going to do is mix it with a tablespoon of peanut butter to thicken it up and so that I can make a little sauce for my pizza. So that's what that's for. This was also on my list because this is going to go on the pizza as well to add some veggies and some fiber to it. So I got broccoli slaw and that was on the list and that's from a different store. This was not on the list, but it's, if you've been watching me for any time, you know that this is one of my favorite things to put on uh, crackers or toast or something in the morning with some jam. So I got these fresh goat cheese medallions and if you want to know the information on that, I think these are two points P a piece for Weight Watchers. So that's a pretty good size medallion. Um, if my Weight Watcher point memory serves me correctly, I'm pretty sure these are two points. And so it's one ounce and it's only 70 calories, six grams of fat, a little bit of cholesterol, a little bit of sodium, no sugars, one carb, and five grams of protein. So this is a pretty good deal here, caloric wise and point wise and taste wise. So this is my Trader Joe's haul, and this was $20 worth of food. <laughs> yeah, so Trader, oh, oh, and these I got because Secret Punzel 20 did a, trade, or a Trader Joe's haul right after I did mine last week, and I had seen these when I was at the store, but I passed them up, and she got these and tried them on camera and said they were delicious, so I had to pick up a box. And the information for that. You get about four, ooh, focus. Sorry, you get about 14 crackers, 140 calories, five grams of fat, zero cholesterol, sodium, some potassium, 21 carbs, only two sugars and three grams of protein. So caloric wise, not too bad. I don't know what that equals out to be uh, in points. I think Secret Punzel 20 is actually still doing Weight Watchers, so if you head over to her channel, she might actually have the point value for this. Or if someone knows it, you can leave it in the comment below. So that's my Trader Joe's haul, and that was $20. This, we have a store here. You guys have heard me talk about my produce store. I love it, love it, love it. And it's called Super King. I, it's been brought, brought to my attention that I never mentioned the name of the store, my produce store. So I just call it my favorite produce store. So... Now you know it's called Super King. They don't have them all over the country, though. They have them in Southern California. I got some bean sprouts. This was 99 cents. I actually need to look at my receipt because this was a bit higher uh, than I anticipated. Bean sprouts were 99 cents. This thing of chives. Oh, I got the bean sprouts to go on my Thai pizza tonight. That was also on my list. Chives um, were on my list, and that was 69 cents for this bunch of chives. If you go to Trader Joe's, this much chives will probably cost you $3, so FYI. Cilantro, a huge bunch of cilantro that's also going on my Thai pizza tonight. Maybe I'll do a recipe video. Um, cilantro, this was like 30 cents. I think it was three bunches for a dollar, so it was like 33 cents. Uh, bananas, yams, a watermelon, this was like three pounds for a dollar, something like that. I got some mayo because we were out. I only use a little bit of that, but I wanted to make some egg white salad. And I got the real mayonnaise instead of light because we're trying to go more towards whole foods. Now, mayo, to be fair, is not completely whole foods. It has um, soybean oil, which is not a whole food. Calcium disodium. 
and I don't know what natural flavors are. <laughs> but it's mostly whole foods with a little bit of uh, calcium to sodium added to it. Any who's all. So, that's the mayonnaise. I got some half and half from a coffee. I don't take it with sugar. I just take it with plain half and half, and I love it. And then I got this yogurt. I switched from the Faye because Faye is way more expensive. This is half the price of Faye, and it has a lot more probiotics. Plus, it's uh, full fat. It's not 0% fat, so it does uh, have more calories per cup but it's a whole food and that's what we're switching to. And so it has all of these live cultures in it. This is a delicious yogurt. We really, really like it. And when the Persian's cousins were here from England, they really liked it, which to me is saying a lot because England has some of the best dairy I've ever had in my entire life. So here's the, here are the stats for this yogurt. One full cup, which I don't eat a full cup, I eat half a cup with my peaches in the morning, is 220 calories, nine grams of fat, uh, sodium, cholesterol, carb, 22 carbs, 21 sugars, and 15 grams of protein. So if I eat half a cup, I'm getting about seven and a half grams of protein, which is quite a bit for yogurt. So I like it. And I got two of those because we eat a lot of yogurt. Even though the Persian's not here, I know I'll be eating a lot of yogurt this week. So that's my grocery haul. This was about the same price as this at Trader Joe's. So I got a little bit more for my money here, but I still want to take a look because these were $5, this was about $4, and this was $5, so that's $15. Yeah, I guess that's about right. $20. 19-something, so just under $20. That's my grocery haul. So there you have it. Um, I actually, I want to taste one of those meringue cookies right now in front of your face so I can tell you how they taste. I think I'm going to try one of those everything crackers and a meringue cookie. Hold the phone. Okay, so I'm going to do a little taste test. First, I'm going to try this because I've never tried it before. It's the Asian style uh, spicy peanut vinaigrette with jalapeno and fresh cilantro. So I'm hoping it's not too spicy. So let me give it a little. That is delicious. It is not too spicy. It is delicious. That is so good. I can't wait to have that on my pizza and to have it on salads. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, my mouth's watering. That is really good. And I don't think I covered the caloric information for you. Um, so two table, two table, weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. Two tablespoons is 70 calories, four grams of fat, 9% uh, sodium, eight carbs, seven sugars, and one gram of protein, which is really good. And let me see. I wanna see how whole foods it is. It's not too bad. Water, sugar, rice vinegar, um, roasted peanut oil, soy sauce, peanut butter, jalapeno peppers, sesame oil, cornstarch, cilantro, chili powder, ground cumin, cumin, red bell peppers, salt, xanthan gum, citric acid, granulated garlic, and granulated onion. It's not terrible. It's not terrible for Whole Foods, but it's great for calories. It's not a creamy based dressing and it's delicious. I can't wait to have that. Okay, so that's that. And now I'm going to try one of these everything crackers. Mm. That's really good. <clears throat> it doesn't have as much everything on it as I had hoped. It's crackers topped with garlic, onion, sesame, poppy, and caraway seeds. It's good. I can definitely taste the onion. Not so much the sesame, but the onion and the garlic. Really good. I'm going to like that with some hummus. Okay. Now, after the savory, I'm going to have sweet. These are pretty good sized meringues. Remember, a serving is four, four of them. So I'm going to try that now. It's not my favorite thing in the whole wide world. It's good. It's, it'll do well for a sweet tooth. I really like the little meringue cups that just have the outside hard shell and then the inside is kind of soft and chewy, kind of like a French macaron. This is not like that. It's hard all the way through. It does melt in your mouth. It's got a nice flavor. Once it starts melting in your mouth, it's good, but the initial crunch, 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 not what I expect in a cookie, not what I want in a cookie. 
But I could see myself, I could see myself with crackers in my hair because that's usually how life goes for me. I could see myself putting maybe some yogurt and berries on those or just berries. Berries would be really good. Get some berries and put just a teaspoon of sugar in them so that the liquid comes out and then drop that on the meringues. That would be tasty. Those are my reviews. I'm gonna go because I still have to do a mental Monday. I'm gonna try not to refer to anything I spoke to in this video. It's hard when you're switching up your days like this. So anyway, <laughs> this is Tuesday. This is Tasty Tuesday. So I will see you for Weigh-In Wednesday. Keep your fingers crossed for me. Oh my God. Okay, just keep swimming.